If you're dealing with the brutal night sweats from breast cancer treatment, but you can't take HRT, you're not alone. I know exactly how it feels. I'm Dr. Liz O'Riordan, a breast surgeon who's had breast cancer myself, and I've spent countless nights tossing the duvet on the floor, drenched in sweat, desperate for relief. But I've learned how to cope. And in this video, I'll tell you why night sweats happen, simple bedroom hacks that can make them easier to cope with, the daily habits that can reset your thermostat, triggers that could be making your night sweats worse, and alternative therapies when HRT isn't an option. Because if you don't get on top of this, you could be facing years of exhaustion and a stained mattress. So why does your body suddenly think you're in a sauna at 2 a.m.? You might assume your body knows how to regulate temperature. After all, it's done a great job your whole life. But when you hit the menopause, or if your hormones are suddenly shut down by cancer treatment, something changes. Your hypothalamus, the part of your brain that controls temperature, is like a thermostat in your house. Normally, it keeps everything stable, turning the heat on when it's cold and cooling things down when it's hot. But when estrogen drops, the thermostat breaks. Now imagine this, your house is perfectly warm, you sip a cup of tea and the thermostat freaks out. It throws open all the windows to dilate your blood vessels. It cranks up the fans to activate your sweat glands and it drenches you in sweat. But minutes later, it overcompensates, leaving you shivering. And that's why you wake up hot, wet and sweaty and then you're freezing again because your body is constantly overreacting. But here's the good news, there are ways to work around it. And let's start with your bedroom setup. Because while bedding won't stop night sweats, it can make them a lot easier to deal with. Let's be honest, if your bedroom setup is wrong, you're making night sweats 10 times worse. And think of it like this. Imagine turning up for a marathon in high heels and a miniskirt with no training. You're setting yourself up for a struggle. You can't change the fact that the marathon is happening, but you can wear the right shoes, train your body and make it easier on yourself. And the same goes for night sweats. And these are the simple hacks that can make a huge difference. If you share a bed, switch to separate duvets so you can control your own temperature without disturbing your partner when you corkscrew the duvet off them. Use a summer duvet with an extra blanket for when you get cold. And cotton is out. It traps moisture and makes you clammy. Wear moisture wicking clothes in bed, like sports tops that dry quickly, or try sleeping naked. You could also keep a handheld fan and a cooling pillow nearby for instant relief when sweat starts. But your sleep setup is only half the battle. You might not realise it, but your daily routine is affecting your night sweats, and this one thing can cut your night sweats in half. Regular exercise is like a reset button for your thermostat. Studies show that it reduces the frequency and the intensity of night sweats. And if you're really working out, it can make you so tired that you sleep through them. Try to get your heart rate up for at least 20 minutes a day. Walk, run, dance in the kitchen, whatever makes you feel good. And if you found these tips useful, remember to like and subscribe to my channel. But what if you're accidentally making things worse without even realizing it? Imagine throwing gasoline on a fire. That's what some food and drinks do to your night sweats. You could keep a diary to notice if anything triggers them, but most people feel better when they avoid the big three. Spicy food, which heats up your body from the inside out, alcohol, which expands the blood vessels making your body release heat, and caffeine, which increases your heart rate and body temperature. Test your triggers. Cut them out for a week and see if it helps. I barely drink these days because the night sweats are never worth it. But what if you've tried everything and you're still suffering? That's when it's time to consider other solutions. There is evidence to show that acupuncture, hypnotherapy and cognitive behavioural therapy can all help reduce the number of night sweats you get. Some cancer centres offer these for free and it's worth asking your breast care nurse about them. Now, some women find that sage supplements can help, but you must check with your cancer team before you take anything. We know that black cohosh can interfere with drugs like tamoxifen. And failing that, there are several drugs that you can take instead of hormone replacement therapy. They're normally prescribed for other things like high blood pressure, depression, pain and water infections. But one of their side effects is that they reduce hot flushes. I'll list them all in the description so you can discuss them with your doctor. I personally take clonidine and venlafaxine and have really noticed a difference. 
What's exciting is that there are also two new drugs on the market called fesalinotant and elinzanotant. They are non-hormonal and they help your brain regulate your body temperature. And results from trials are really promising. We know that managing night sweats is tough enough, but there are other symptoms that can take you by surprise after breast cancer. Check out this video to learn how to cope with the side effects of tamoxifen.